So how long does it really take to deploy TyDB? Well, not very long, it's pretty easy. And I'll show you how. So here I've created 10 EC2 instances just using the AWS command line client. Um, I waited for them to get their public IPs and I've output those here. So we can see that we have 10 instances and we can connect to them and get a start with uh, seeing how to deploy a TIDB cluster. So I'm gonna connect to the first one of these in the list. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually just to copy that instances file up here so that we have all those locally. Um, and now we can install tie-up. So the way to do that is to just hop over to tieup.io, copy this command, paste it into your shell. And that's a pretty simple thing. It just copies uh, a couple files, unpacks this tie-up binary, and gets everything set up with our with the root keys and things that we use to sign packages. So from there, we can adjust our path to have the tie-up command in it, and we can begin executing things. So today, we're going to be working with the tie-up cluster component. Um, you can actually see a super basic tie-up cluster template if we execute that command. So let's try that and customize that to work with our cluster. So I'm gonna open up that file with instances as well as that cluster.yaml file. Um, I did 10 instances and that allows us to break them up into three groups of three with one additional leftover. So the first of those is gonna be the instance where I actually run tie up and the instance where we install Grafana and Prometheus. The next, the, the first, uh, group of three there is going to be where we install the PD server. So PD is our placement driver. The next group of three is where I'm going to install the TyDB servers. And then the final group of three is where we'll install TyKV. So let's get started with that. Um, so it's really as simple as that. We have our cluster YAML file. Uh, and now we'll tell tie-up to deploy the cluster based on the definition in that file. So tie-up, cluster, deploy, test, v520, and then we give it the YAML file. It's going to ask us to confirm all these things, assuming I've written all the IP addresses correctly in the file. This should begin copying things around right away across all of these instances. So tie-up takes care of the whole process. It's going to download all the components of the version that we specified. It connects using SSH to all of the nodes that are gonna be part of the cluster. It's gonna create all the directories we need. It's gonna copy all the files over and it's gonna create system D unit files and services. And once the deploy process finishes, the cluster will be ready to start. So deploy doesn't actually start the cluster. That's gonna happen separately. And in the meantime, we can actually look at another really cool feature of tie up. Uh, so, uh, I'm connected here from a Mac. This is actually using an Apple Silicon Mac, so one of the new M1 processors. And recently we've gotten it to work so that you can run Tie Up Playground on your Mac, even if it's using the new Apple Silicon processors. And Tie Up Playground is gonna download the most recent version of all the TyDB cluster components. It's gonna actually create a cluster running on your local machine. So. Um, you can see I have a TyDB instance, I've got TyKV, I even have TyFlash, and I have uh, PD, of course. So from here, we can connect using a MySQL command line client to this cluster. We can see that this is a real TyDB cluster that's deployed on my Mac. Um, of course, this is limited value in terms of any kind of production or testing. You're not gonna be able to do performance testing with this, but you get to see exactly how TyDB works and we can see that it is a real cluster. It's running 5.2.0, all on my local machine. Um, so just while we were waiting for the cluster to deploy in the cloud, I was able to demonstrate here that you can do this also on your machine, which is super valuable, and it's really convenient to be able to do some local testing for syntax or other things like that. So now that our cluster is deployed in the AWS environment, I'm gonna start the cluster. So starting the cluster is as simple as tie up cluster start. Uh, as I said, the cluster deploy process already created all of the system D services. So this part of the process just has to use SSH to connect to each of the nodes that's in the cluster and pretty much tell system D to start up those units. Uh, so now our cluster is started. So we can display the cluster and that shows us the list of nodes that's in the cluster. Uh, we can connect to one of the tidy B servers Let's pick this one. 
we use port 4000, that's the port we use instead of 3306, which is typical for MySQL, and we're connected. So again, tidyd version, and we can select all from information, schema, cluster, info, to see the whole layout of the different components in the cluster. So this is a real tidyd cluster that's running across 10 different EC2 instances, we started that up in, I don't know, a couple minutes, right? Um, we can even then copy this UI. This is uh, the PD component that hosts the TidyB dashboard. And I'm just gonna see which public IP that's hosted on. So let's try to connect to that and see if we can see the dashboard. And indeed there's the dashboard. So this is our TidyB dashboard. We're logged in, we have a running cluster. We have the instances, we can see that, um, we're running several TyKB stores. That's how you deploy a TyDB cluster. It's as simple as that. So you've seen that you can deploy a real cluster across a bunch of nodes with a really simple YAML file. I've also shown that you can deploy a very simple local playground type environment on your local machine in just a couple commands. So um, I look forward to you getting started with this and please reach out and let us know how it goes for you and if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.